So, in Java package is very important concept that we have mentioned explicitly in our last module that we have discussed on packages. We cover this discussion of package in two modules. Now, this demonstration will completes the understanding of our the package concept in Java. So, in this today's demonstration we are going to explain how the built in API package can be imported in your Java program. So, importing a Java built in API package. Then we will discuss about how we can create our own package and use this package in our own program. And then package with access modification is really a big job. So, we will discuss about the packages with access protection and then packages which are there and the classes are there in those packages whether they can be used in our inheritance procedure. So, we will discuss about inheritance mechanism with some classes which are there in the package and then finally, we will clear our concept about the different access specification that we have known in the context of package only. So, let us have the first demonstration in this concept of package. Our first demo says that how we can access a API package. So, we know Java have 9 API packages, all packages are readily accessible to a Java program. To access a package, we have already used one statement called the import. So, if we write import then the name of the package then the package will be imported into this program. Here for example, import java dot lang dot star this means that it will import all the classes which are declared in the lang package will be there will be accessible here. Here accessible means it is like this that in one the same file all the classes those are there in dot lang package will be pasted here like. So, it is the concept you can think like that. So, by means of import it is basically this concept. Okay. So, you will be able to paste all the classes which are already defined they are in the long package. They are the classes tested and compiled successfully because if we want to store one pack class in our own package we should test it, compile it then store it this is the concept actually there. Anyway, so in this case as we see we import one class which belongs to lang package and actually this class as you see in the program the name of the class is math dot sqrt. Now, here this is the simple class declaration calculator has the two members i x and one method p. The p basically use the method math dot sqrt a square root is a method which is defined in the math class. Now, one thing also you can notice for the math class we do not have to create any object because this math is a static class which is declared in this lang package. As you know if a class is declared as a static or a method is declared as a static, so no object needs to be created. See basically the is a class method is a class variable instance variable we have discussed similarly the class method and instance method. So, here sqrt in fact is a class method. So, for a class method we do not need not to call create any object here. Anyway, so math dot square root is basically pass an integer i if it is like this. So, it will uh, pass an value i then it will calculate the square root and then it return the result and store in the value x. So, this is the program here and uh, running is successfully ok fine it is obvious that this program will run it is there. Let us run this program 20.0 square root it will uh, give you the result so that you can understand about it. So, this example shows a very simple one so that any class can be accessed there that class may be any method also belong to that class also readily accessible in your program. So, this demonstration is there. So, 20.0 is the value that has been passed to the math dot square root giving the square root as 4.47 this result is there. Okay. So, this example shows that how we can access the package which is there like this the many packages all packages method in any other packages also can be accessed. Now, let us have the another demo that we can explicitly mention here 
java dot lang dot star that means the entire package will be enter a package is usually very heavy very large so not necessary to include the entire package so in lieu of the entire package we can explicitly mention a particular met class if we know that it is required in our program here this example includes this fact here you see import java dot util dot vector you can understand what it does mean it is basically accessing one class the name of the class is vector and this class is defined in the package util. So, in java there is a package called util and there many class like vector, array, list array all these things are there it is there. Now, here if you see uh, so in this program in this class the demonstration underscore 82 here we can see the vector class is imported once it is imported then this class can be used to create any object as we see vector new vector new vector. So, basically we create a create an object of class vector which is basically in util package and then this vector can be used for many other function that code is not here given. So, this is one example that a particular vector can be created. Now, import is not necessarily limited to only importing one class in our next example we can see that we can create without importing some method also for these things we have to explicitly mention the location of that class. So, without importing also we can have an access to some method which belongs to a package. So, this example includes this fact again. So, let us see the class here demonstration underscore 83 where we can see here we have created one object the name of the object is new list but this object of type array list array list is already defined in the class util and here you can see how we have done it explicitly mentioned by means of dot that java dot util dot array list new list this means that we want to create an object which belongs to util the class type is array list. So, this is also way and here, here you can note that we did not use any import statement. So, these are the things are there, but the good practice is that import statement to be used in your program. If we use import obviously, program will run little bit slowly that you cannot understand, but if you do it explicitly this is faster of course, but this speed is not so important and it is a negligible uh, the speed improvement if we say so. Now, our next example that we can already have an a demonstration that we can in, instead of only one package we can include many packages for example, vector and array list both of the classes if you want to include it. So, what we do we can do two things import java dot util dot vector import java dot util dot array list like this, but instead of this dot star is a short form if we do this all the classes belongs to this package will be accessible to this program here we can see vector new vector similarly array list new list we can access it. Uh, similarly, all other methods all other classes which is declared in this util can be accessed like this one. So, this is not a complete program code related to dealing with vector and dealing with array list can be included here to make it complete. Our next extra demonstration is most important that how a user can create his own package. This is very important concept because if you have to develop your own application software you have to build many packages of your own and maintain them these things. So, next discussion next demonstration onwards basically emphasize on this fact that how we can create our own package, how we can maintain them, how we can access them and how the different protection can be maintained in there all these facts. Now, here you can see the simple program here where we want to maintain one class in a package. Let us have the demo of first from in this line 8.5 open this one yeah. So, first yeah now here you can see we have created one class name of the class is my class and this class I want to put it into a package the name of the package is my package. So, for this thing we have to write the statement that package my package indicating that this class will be moved to the package my package. What is my package? A my package is a directory that means you have to build a directory the name of the directory should be my package and under this my package you should store this file 
the name of the file should be my class that is the class name my class dot java as we see here we have created one directory my package here and then under this directory we have stored my class dot java it is not finished we have to also compile this my class and then store this my class into that directory so we have created my class dot class the compiled version of this java file and store there and one more important thing is that if you want to create if you want to store one class in a package then that class should be declared as a public access specifier so here you can see we have given the access specifier as a public public class my class so this completes that one class is ready to be put into a package called the my package here so this class this class is now uh, if after so, so completing so many steps is now one package is created i hope you have understood that how a package can be created so you have to create a file access specification should be public and then stay keep this file and compile this and store this in a sub directory my package and finally put the package statement the package my package so this will complete to creating your own package now once this package is created then we can access this package in our own other program so this is an example showing it is little bit upward thoda it is a niche ho gaya ha okay fine so here we can see uh, we are just attempting to access the packet in order to access this one we have to use again import it is just same as the usual concept we have already learned but in this case we want to access the package which belong to the my package and the name of the my class so import my package dot my class and then this is the rest of the things accessing this my class object create an object this one so this completes it but another important no things that you have to note it where this package st should be stored now this class the demonstration underscore 85 if it is stored in working directory let it be demonstration underscore 85 then your package should be under this working directory that means your my package is under the directory demonstration underscore 85 then only you can access it now let us see whether this program that means demonstration underscore uh, underscore 85 is the main class is compilable and then executable yeah so it is compiled successfully and then running also successfully okay so this class is now we can see how a package can be created and a component which is belong to a particular package can be accessed in one file that's all so this is basically creating a user's own package here now our next demonstration so i have shown an example about that how we can create one we can place or put one package one class file into a package similar extension can be done if you want to have more than one file same things can be repeated again like here in this demonstration let us see we create one package called the my package there so let us the my package directly here now here we can see in this my package we have stored two class file my class one my class two so all these things again repeated just like my class program there so my class one here just my package statement compile and then save in the same directory so this completes the putting the my class one class into the package similarly my class two class into the same package there after creating this package with two files or more files we can access them into one class file that class file should be a root above this my package now here the working directory here is demonstration 85 under uh, the, this is just above the my package directory and now here we can see my class 1 object is created my class 2 object is created and these classes are imported from the my package packet so my package dot star means it imports all the classes so here again i repeat that my class 1 as if pasted here my class 2 class as if pasted here as if all the classes are here and all classes as you see that declared there in the package as a public access specification so this way two or many more classes can be put into package and package can be built at package can grow as the programmer will add many more component into the package so this concept is basically how a user can create the package there now implicitly uh, as we have already told that implicitly using import statement a package can be accessed 
just like user package also no exception that a package also can be explicitly uh, located and then that can be accessed in a program. Our next uh, demonstration regarding this one let us go to the 8.8 .8 demonstration here which basically explain everything here. Yeah, this program is basically here. <coughs> here we can see uh, a dot 88 is the one class file which is already there in my package. That is all. Now, let us go to the main program here which is basically accessing this one. So, here yeah. So, let us go the demonstration yes. Now, here we can see after importing this this a dot 88 as if it is own class right. So, we can create an object o b j for example, for the class a 88 as if a 88 is declared in this class. So, this is a explicitly a 88 can be accessed as if the package the class it belongs to the programmer's own class look like. So, package gives the access so easily to the programmer. Now, let us have the next demonstration 8.9 using the same concept as the explanation it is there, but using the method it is there. Now, let us have the 8.9 demonstration it is little bit twist about the 8.8 .8 extension as if the 88 a88 class is already stored there with one method it is there and we want to access the same method here. So, that method will be accessible here. Okay. So, this is the a88 method and we are accessing this method by an application program class the main class here and then we can use it and using the fully qualified name here we can use my package dot a dot 88. So, that means fully qualified name because a dot 88 is belongs to the my package here we do not have any import statement included here we have commented it without any import also explicitly we have given the similar demonstration earlier also. So, that explicitly we can mention the name or location of a particular class and by means of that we can access the class and then object can be created out of that. So, this example in fact uh, concludes this one. Now, let us have the another uh, demonstration about it basically utilization of package in Java application that means, how we can use utilize this one. Now, for these things let us consider one class first this is in the package let the name of the class be balance let us go to this one. Okay. We have created one package called the my package under this my package <coughs> there is one class as you see name of the class is balance dot java and let us have a quick look of the class this balance dot java here. Yeah. So, okay, fine and we have declared this class belongs to a package my package and this class is very simple the balance has the variable name name as string and balance as a float and then it has one constructor the balance and then it is initializing the members and also it has one method the show method declared as a public and as you see the method all our method is public and then construct is also declared as a public and then this class is also declared as a public if you do not declare as a public it will compilation error because non public any method cannot be accessed to other outside classes it is there because public is accessible. <coughs> okay. So, this, this is basically the class let us have the main class that is your program main program. So, this is the main program import this my package dot mean balance class is imported here after this imported here we can create objects as we see we can create array of objects size of the array is 3 here. So, we have created initialized and then we can display the different elements in it for example, the show method we can call the show method for each object and it is. Now, let us have a quick run for this program. So, that it can the objects are created for this package class and then the method belong to that package class is now accessible to the method. Yeah. So, we can see that objects three objects in this case are created they are initialized and their methods their members are accessible through their method. So, this basically shows that how we can utilize the different methods different classes 
are there in the package if they are in your custody. Okay. Now, our next example is basically give the concept that whether same class name can be given two different classes into belong to two different packages. Now, here let us consider one package say my package one. Now, here you see under this demonstration 8.1 there are two packages my package one and then my package two. Here we can say my package one and my package two are the two packages under this working directory and in my package one there is a class called my class dot java same name but may be structure different yeah it is the same name with the method msg2 now let us go to the my class i message my package one method here yeah, here also same name but a different method so the two two classes but the two classes have the same name and they are defined in two different packages now let's come to our main class main class is here demonstration underscore 811. Now, here you can see I just want to access the two classes which belong to the two different packages, but having the same name problem is here we can import it no issue import my package one my dot class there. Now, here is a problem as I told you this import will paste or merge two class my class my class. Now, in one program you cannot give same name to different class. So, this way if we give this kind of import it basically leads to a compilation error. If we run these things you will see it will give an error because it will not take this kind of things because it is syntactically not valid. Yeah, so, it is giving an error that a type with the same simple name is already defined by this. So, what is the way out? Way out is here the remedy is that we should stop import here we cannot do that, but instead of import we can have the full qualified name. I have given the full qualified name by say my package one dot my class. So, it will resolve the ambiguity that my class this my class is belong to my package one and we can then successful to create an object a for that class. Similarly, for the another class my class, but belongs to my package two we can create success successfully able to create another object b here. Now, if we run it after saving let us compile and then we will see the a dot message 1 and b dot message 1 it is resolved although they belong to the different classes having the same name, but accessible here. So, the compilation is successful and then we run it also successfully this is the way out. So, you can understand that the same class name can be used but while you have to use it in your program, we have to use the full qualified name to avoid the collision. So, this is the one example that we have discussed about it. Now, let us have another example about this example is basically discussing example 8.12 right. We can whether a class which is defined in a package can be used to inherit I mean can be used as a super class to derive some subclass. So, this demonstration will clear this doubt here. Now, here let us consider a my package package which includes one class belong to this my package the name is balance class. So, a class is already there in my package directory the name of the class is balance. Now, our objective is that we want to derive some classes from this class balance as a super class. So, let us have the main class where we can try to inherit this one. So, let us go to the main method yeah. So, this is a demonstration underscore 812 is the main class here yeah. Now, in this main class you can see we derive a sub class the name of the sub class is savings. Savings it basically inherited from the super class balance. Now, whatever the member elements are there in the balance namely string name then float balance all these things are readily available here because of the public it is there because this class has made public and all methods and then member are also public there otherwise you cannot access through package anyway. So, savings and in the savings class we can declare one member as branch and another integer as customer id. So, two web fields are declared here in addition to this the constructor is also declared here to initialize the object of type savings. 
and then a method so definitely this method is basically overriding method because the show method that is there to display only two elements, but here we have to in addition to earlier two balance and name we have to display a branch and then. so show is basically also overridden method. So, this completes the inheritance now we could inherit it now we have to do it at whether we successfully inherit it or not. So, to understand these things our task is to create three objects of type inherited class. Now, in this see the current is an array of objects of type savings and we have created three objects in this case. So, three objects are created and initialized subsequently they, those are stored as current 0, current 1, current 2 like this. And now for int i equals to 0 i less than 3 i plus plus we are trying to run this method so for the savings class object displaying the elements. So, this completes the complete class now let us have the compilation and subsequently execution then we can see that a method a class which are there in a package can be used to inherit into some application package application class. So, here you can see 8 1 okay, fine. So, now we can successfully compile and execute that inheritation is possible. So, what I want to emphasize it again that a class if it is there in a package. So, inheritance is not an issue and if it is public all these things. So, all members will be accessible if it is private there then obviously, private member cannot be accessible, but those are the protected those protected member are accessible in the inherited class those are the obvious concept we have already learned. So, I do not want to explain it again now let us have the next demo. So, our next demo is basically that if the same class name, but in two different packages and the class are then referred in a Java program that we have discussed already right. Okay, not is there 8.12 we have declared that is okay. Uh, 8 point yeah our next demonstration is basically combining all access modification in one file and how it works. Now, this program is bit complex and little bit uh, large actually. Now, here let us consider two packages my package 1 and my package 2. Now, my package 1 composition is that it has three classes one class A, class X and class Y and Y is a derived class that means Y is an inherited class from X. So, the com combination is like this now we will see the three different classes there in this package one by one. So, let us first have the class X declaration yeah. So, now this is the class X as we see in this class X n is declared as a default access specification p is a private q is protected and r is uh, public and so no problem. So, constructor is made as public the class itself X is made as public. So, that we can use it in other pack classes other application through package concept and then these are the simple concept that okay, we can print it in this case all members are accessible because they are belong to the same. So, whether the public private protected it is accessible within the same class. So, this class x is successfully compilable and it will execute so, no error. Now, let us go to the class x uh, after the class x declaration is over class y as I told you here class y is basically derived class from the x. So, we made the class y as a public and then extends x and constructor also we made it public y and then we create the things one here. Now, we have put some comments there because if we remove the comment then this class will not be executable. Here you can see that system dot out dot print ln attempting to print the n n which is the default value there. So, default is accessible to any class because it is uh, derived one. So, default is accessible to the derived ok. So, it is not an error there. Now, let us come to the p, p is declared as a private there in class x. So, now if we want to access it in the derived class, so public private is not accessible. So, this will give an error. Now, member x is not access ok. Now, system dot out dot print ln q here q which is the protected by virtue of protected because it is an inherited class. So, q is accessible. So, this will this is ok. So, protected is accessible and r being a public. 
So, public is accessible. So, after commenting, so this program will run successfully. So, that means the access is fine. Now, let us come to the class A. Here the class A, if we want to print the different members which is there in class X, whether this is accessible or not. So, we import the my package dot x in this class A because it want to access it. Now, public A, we can declare a constructor class A and create an object x of type x and through x we can see here the default is accessible to because it is in the same file, same folder, same directory. So, no issue a dot x, x dot n is accessible. Now, come to the x dot p, it is not accessible via a because p is private. So, it is an error. However, protected is also not accessible because x is not an inherited class here. It is a x class is there through x the protected class cannot be accessible, public is accessible. So, public is there. So, this completes the working of the different classes in the my package 1. Now, similarly go to the my package 2, it is little bit different, but in the different sense that my package 2 is has two different classes B, class B and class Z. Class Z is an inherited of class X. So, my package 1 inherited like this one. So, if we can inherit this concept using my package 1, so import my package 1 extends this one. Now, so far this Z is concerned, here you can see as it is in the different file because this my package 2 in a different directory you can say, so the default access is not accessible. So, it will give an error. So, dot n is giving an error and then the protected is also not accessible, private is not accessible, however, private public is accessible. So, in under this only the r is accessible, others are not accessible. Now, let us go to the b class b object, yeah class b object is same, here we can see default is not accessible private is not accessible, protected is not accessible, only public is accessible. So, this will give the idea about the different access specification. So, far package is concerned. Now, once after creating this package, we can use this package. If they are successful in the package form, then they can be accessible. Here is the demo program here. So, in this demo, we are trying to access the different classes, those are there in different packages and we can create the objects here the objects are readily available because the classes are successfully compiled and then and legitimately accessed here. So, this completes the access specification so far the package is concerned. So, there is no different issue so, so far the access specification is concerned other than information hiding concept. If you have understood the information hiding concept clearly then you will be able to understood about uh, the concept those are there in package. So, package is basically is a more advanced version of the information hiding there is the information that is there. Okay. So, this is the con complete discussion about the package. Obviously, package can be matured the uh, learning about this package concept can be matured once you are involved in the developing of large software, but this is the basic the beginning of this package concept and that is okay fine. So, uh, this okay. So, this is the program I advise you to go for more further rigorous practice with the demo program that we have used here in this program. So, that you can uh, completely uh, you can get more confidence about this programming. Thank you, thank you very much.